Welcome back to the commonly used Excel charts and functions video series. Today in lesson 23, we are going to cover the range VLOOKUP. Just as a reminder, there are two types of VLOOKUP, the exact lookup and the range lookup. In the last lesson, we covered the exact lookup, so today we will look at a range lookup example. All right, so I have two tables on my Excel sheet here. The first on the left consists of different student exam scores, and we are wanting to assign a letter grade to each student based on their exam scores. Now to do this, we are going to use the second table on the right here that consists of the letter grade assignment criteria. Now we can manually type out the letter grade for each student based on their exam score, but this is very time consuming. Fortunately, we can do it quicker using the range lookup. To use range lookup, we'll have to set up a lookup table, which I have formatted to the right here. You can see the table consists of two different columns, scores, and letter grades assigned to each score range. Let's first work on the score column. Now remember, whenever you are inputting scores, they must be from lowest to highest, and you will input the lower boundary of the score range. So for example, in this cell here, we will input a zero since this score range is from zero to under 60. In the next cell, we will input a 60 since this score range is for 60 to under 65. What do you think the next number will be? 65, correct. Now I'm gonna go through and fill in the rest of the scores column. Now you might be wondering, do we have to include 100? And the answer is no. Now let's go ahead and fill in the letter grade column. In this first cell here, I'm going to input an F. Now the way Excel interprets this is that any score between zero and under 60 will be assigned an F. The next cell will be D. The way this is interpreted is that any score between 60 and under 65 will be assigned a D. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the letter grade column. Now I can enter the VLOOKUP function in the letter grade column. Once I select the function, you can see that there are four different arguments in its syntax. The first is the lookup value, which in this case will be the exam scores. Now in the last video, we selected that one specific cell that we wanted the lookup function to assign a value to. But now we are going to select the entire exam score column. The next argument is the table array, which consists of our lookup table. We are going to select our entire lookup table without the headers, and it'll look something like this. Next is the column index number, which refers to the column of the lookup table that we want to be used to assign the value. Since we want to assign a letter grade, we are going to use column two, which is the letter grade column. The fourth argument is the range lookup. And since we are using a range lookup example, we are going to choose true. Now I'm gonna put a closing bracket and press enter. And you can see there are all of our letter grades were quickly and easily assigned. Now let's take a closer look at the fourth argument in the VLOOKUP function, the range lookup. Now the argument is in brackets, which means it's optional. So this means we aren't actually required to specify anything. If we don't specify anything, Excel will automatically assume the range lookup is true. Now this is convenient whenever you are using a range VLOOKUP because you don't actually have to specify anything for that fourth argument. So we can delete it altogether because Excel will assume true. And when I press enter, you can see all my letter grades stay the same. Now one important thing to note is that Excel um, sees one as equal to true. So if I go back to my first cell here, I can always use a one to represent true as my fourth argument. So when I press enter, again, all my letter grades stay the same. But in this case, we don't even have to include that fourth and final argument because Excel will always assume either one or true because they are equal. 
Let's do a quick VLOOKUP function summary. Regardless if you are using a range VLOOKUP or exact VLOOKUP, you must always sort the lookup column from lowest to highest or A to Z so that you can safely omit the optional true or false argument, which is the fourth and final argument. That concludes today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching and tune into the next lesson where we will cover HLOOKUP.